73,000 older adults in Michigan are victims of elder abuse, elder abuse, neglect, or economic exploitation. This is according to Attorney General Dana Nessel. And I had a chance to talk with her about the three most common scams targeting seniors right now. And I also heard from a local woman who almost got duped. It's today's Don't Waste Your Money report. And these people are coming in as, as vultures. Lori Abel Patch of Clinton Township almost fell for the grandparent scam. I answered the phone and this little voice on the other end says, Grandma, you could, I couldn't quite tell that it was Jacob, you know. Jacob is her grandson who's at college out of state. I said, hi, Jacob, how you doing? And he says, oh, Grandma, not good. And I said, Jacob, what's the matter? He says, Grandma, I'm in trouble. I need money. And at that point, my mind went, why isn't he calling his dad? So then I, I thought for a second, and I said, Jacob, tell me your middle name and they click hung up. The grandparent scam is one of the most popular scams targeting Michigan seniors, according to Attorney General Dana Nessel. Nessel says that scam is often coupled with the caller ID spoofing scam, where bad actors deliberately falsify the info sent to your caller ID to pose as a legitimate business or a trusted source. And so if you look to verify that number, it is the number of those particular facilities so if someone is urgently asking for money, being paid in an unusual way, banking information, or your social security number, hang up. Look up the number yourself and call to see what's real and what's fake. And if you get a smishing text from a trusted source with a link, watch out. That's the fake technology scam. And it'll say it's from Apple or Microsoft. Uh, and they'll say there's something wrong with your device. And you have to click on this link but really what you're doing is you're downloading malware. That malware allows the scammer to get into your device, access critical passwords, even snag your banking information. My mother fell for that scam. Didn't seem to, uh, you know, impact her decision that her daughter's the attorney general and said, definitely do not click on that link. But it was too late by the time uh, I got to her. How disturbing is it to you to know that senior citizens are often the target of these scams? Oh, it just infuriates me. Yeah, my mom gets these calls all the time. It is infuriating. Well, the Attorney General's Elder Abuse Task Force helped move some legislation called FIPA, the Financial Exploitation Prevention Act, and it now requires credit unions and banks to train their staff members on how to spot suspicious transactions on a senior's account. Now the Attorney General's office also has a program called MITS, the Michigan Identity Theft Support System. Now, if you've been a victim, make a report online and you'll be assigned a caseworker who can walk you through the process of rebuilding your credit, hopefully uh, reinstating your good name, maybe even locating the perpetrator, possibly even getting your money back. Yeah, those